Dimitri. First question will be Chris Me from Bulls 247. Good morning, Dimitri. Just wanted to ask you, what ultimately led you to FSU? What was it about this school compared to other options that stood out to you and made sense for you for your final year of college ball? Uh, really, for me, I was just looking to be challenged um, and come to a program, you know, that has a lot of tradition. And uh, especially being my last year, um, you know, I just I, I felt like it made it was the right decision for me to come here and be with the coach that you know, I've, I've, I've ended up playing with before. Um, and, you know, just here, here, here to do whatever I can to make this team better. Next will be Bob Ferrante from the Osceola. Hey, good morning, Demetria. I'm curious, what were your first impressions when you met Coach Atkins, you know, back at Charlotte? And then um, how long did it take to kind of rekindle the relationship, I guess, once you arrived on campus? Um, my first impressions of Coach Atkins, you know, I just I, I honestly kind of just saw how real he was. And then obviously just throughout the time um, leading up to the season, going through offseason workouts, you know, he's a guy that uh, he's going to push you on the field and then off the field. He really cares for you. So um, to me, that's really where the relationship started. And then uh, rekindling the relationship once I was in the portal, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it was, it was good. And obviously, when this being my last year is kind of one of those things that just made sense for me. Um, while I was out of Charlotte, has, I've had six offensive line coaches at Charlotte. So, you know, just coming back to uh, a coach that I'm, I'm familiar with, this being my last year just made sense for me. Matt Marshall from the Orlando Central. Dimitri, I wanted to ask, was there anyone, uh, you know, currently on the roster that you spoke with, any of the other offensive linemen maybe that reached out to you or you, you reached out to them to maybe get some uh, thoughts about going to Florida State? Yeah, so I spoke to uh, Devontae Love-Taylor um, when when I uh, – just a little bit early, uh, early in the process of transfer portal, uh, just because he's a guy that came from Conference USA – and, and made a transition to ACC, and obviously he was playing here. So uh, that was just definitely a guy that I wanted to, you know, reach bases with. And I was really probably the main main person I reached out to. Next will be Jeff Hall from the Boston Cox from Warchant. Hey there, Dimitri. Uh, you mentioned the tradition of FSU kind of and all that, you know, outside of the connection with Coach Atkins, did you have any, you know, prior uh, history with FSU or did you watch them all growing up or anything like that? Uh, I used to just watch on TV. I mean, obviously, Florida State is a program that's been winning for a long time. Um, and so just naturally you see it on TV. I was, I'm not like I wasn't too familiar with a lot of the stuff that goes on here. But when you just come to Florida State campus and you just get the feel, like they love football here. And it's a lot of tradition. There's been a lot of great players that have played here and gone to NFL and done a lot of good things after the NFL, too, and come back. And that's honestly just you just see the family type of vibe it is here. Um, so, you know, that that's obviously something that attracted me to Florida State. Go back to Chris Lee from Bills 247. With having so much experience on the offensive line, is there a spot you prefer over another as far as where you line up? Uh, honestly, it's not really a spot I prefer. I love offensive line. Uh, I think it's honestly a skill, it's a craft. Um, and I, I really love playing any position. So I don't really have a preference uh, wherever I need to be to help the team win is where I'm, I'm going to probably play it. Go back to Matt from the Orlando Central. Demetri, what kind of player do you, does FSU get with you? When you what, what kind of skills do you you think you do well, and what kind of things do you think you need to improve on in your last year? Uh, I think uh, you know FSU is going to get some leadership out of me. I feel like well, with my experience, uh, offensive line like it's a developmental position, so uh, a lot of oftentimes like when I, especially when I was a young player, you make mistakes and stuff, but you have to make those mistakes to grow from them. So. I've made a lot of mistakes um, in my career. I've learned from. Um, I would say, like my pass protection is, it's probably been, uh, like a strength in my game right now. Uh, areas of improvement, uh, just overall finishing plays, sustaining blocks, and um, I would say, you know, just want to keep keep improving. You know. Back to Matt. 
Dimitri, you mentioned this a little bit earlier in the comments. You've had six different offensive line coaches during your time in college. What's that? What's that been like for you? I mean, you know, that's a, it's a lot of transition for a player to go through his career. What kind of maybe kept you on course and kept you uh, to, to move forward with that when you had that much kind of transition? I mean, honestly, it's just the business of college football. Um, when I was a young player, I didn't really understand, you know, why coaches would come in and just leave. But I, at the end of the day, like, and they have a job to do, and, you know, obviously they have goals and aspirations themselves. So it was definitely challenging early in my career. But it was something that I got uh, adjusted to and I was able to adapt and honestly just take take pieces of my, my game from each one of those coaches. Um, so I mean, at first it was definitely a transition, but, you know, I I got used to it after probably the third time it happened. So, you know, I love all the, all, all the coaches I, I had a chance to play for. And they've all been good coaches to me and taught me a lot of good things about the game. So I think it's honestly been, you know, a blessing for me because I've been able to adapt and learn to each teaching style, different techniques that each coach provides and, you know, add that to my game. We'll go back to Austin for more chance. You're a guy that's uh, started a lot of games in college. You know, what can that kind of do when you bring that experience versus guys that haven't, you know, started games and played as much coming out of high school? Well, like I said earlier, I feel like offensive line is really a developmental position. Um, you know, so I just feel like that that experience, you know, helps me out a lot, but it only gets me so far. Like, nobody really cares about, like, what I've done in the past. Is it right now? It's everything. Everything's just moving forward and, you know, helping helping out helping the team as much as I can, helping the young guys come along and just teaching them things that I've learned from the past. But, you know, it's a new day and age now. Um, it's really just that, – that only gets you so much. All right, Demetri. I think that's it. Thank you. Okay, cool. Appreciate it.